G'day guys, um, well the local shy is doing a big clean up today around town so a lot of people are dropping off all their household waste, all the good stuff what they don't want and some of the stuff me and another guy finding are absolutely amazing, some really really nice old relics, antique stuff, uh, brass, copper and look at all that scrap metal and there's going to be good stuff in there too I reckon so be interesting, found some nice furniture Beautiful old retro vintage chair. So we'll go over and have a look there in a minute and hopefully we'll find some more good stuff, which we probably will. Just here guys, beautiful old antique cupboard. Look at that. What a shame. I'm gonna grab that. Guys, on Saturday I went for a drive to a rubbish dump that I've never been uh, to before. And you're not supposed to um, actually salvage stuff, but I couldn't resist and no one was around anyway. It's one of those rubbish dumps that they actually um, lock and is closed on certain days but anyway I went past and the place was open and there was a guy working. I actually told him that I grabbed <coughs> some stuff and he said oh that's okay you know he didn't mind but you're not really supposed to take stuff but otherwise but anyway guys you've got to save stuff like this. How can this kind of stuff be um, bulldozed and burnt? So, as you can see here, I had an absolutely awesome score on that day, and some of this stuff is worth quite a lot of money. Um, I'll quickly go through it and show you. But anyway, guys, these are old um, retro light switches, and they're worth a lot of money on eBay. Um, a lot of people like these who are doing up old houses from the 1900s instead of using modern day uh, power switches and stuff like that, they'll buy these ones off eBay and put them on their walls and stuff so the house looks like it's all original. So as you can see here I scored a lot of old Bakelite switches and fuses, I'm not too sure if they're worth anything, they're pretty common. But yeah, it was absolutely amazing when I saw it, so as you can see here there's a lot of Bakelite switches and stuff. Also, I found these um, big fuses. I'm un unsure how old they are. Um, they're made out of plastic, but this this here is ceramic, so I'm unsure if they're worth anything. But I reckon that they're probably nothing wrong with them. They're like brand new. I uh, scored a couple of nice switches there, so they're probably still good as new. Here, a brand new, um, like a overhead fan switch. Over here, some um, fuse covers. I don't know what they are, but yeah, it's got fuses in them. But I don't know if I could sell those. If they're worth anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'll scrap it for the cast aluminium. Also, scored myself some really nice old kettles. So that's an old enamel kettle that'll sell definitely on eBay. A lot of people collect, collect those. Nice stainless steel teapot there, and that's probably a brass um, or stainless steel kettle there, and that'll probably sell too. It'll come up really nice. Also, I uh, found some nice old store, um, wood saws, so that was a good score. There's five of them there. Found some perfume bottles, I'm sure if they're that old, but they'll sell. People collect perfume bottles. Don't know what this is, guys, so if any of you guys can help me identify what this is, I'm sure what it is. When I first saw it, I thought it might have been an aluminium or aluminium can crusher, but I don't know what it is, so I'm sure someone out there will be able to help me identify what it is. I scored a heap of um, electrical wire over there. I have been getting heaps of electrical wire lately. So what I'm showing you now is just a fraction of what I've um, been getting in the last few weeks, but I haven't really been filming. A uh, nice light cover there that will be sell. This one definitely will sell. Light cover. Nice little um, vintage, um, what is it, uh, a little cupboard thing. So that will sell, like for a shop to put stuff on display. That's a nice little find. Been finding heaps and heaps of really good golf sticks lately. That's just a little tiny fraction of what I found. Scored a heap of motors, guys, so that's an awesome score. Heaps of copper. You can watch my videos on how to take that copper out. I'll put the link to the videos. Really, really easy, but you need to invest in an angle grinder. 
to get that copper out. Just here, nice old probably 44 um, gallon drum, uh, gallon drum um, fuel pump. So that's a really good score. Might be able to sell that on eBay. People collect that kind of stuff as well. This here was a good score. I found two of them, <coughs> and I reckon they'd still work too. These are actually like cake mixers. They're just missing the the little mixers uh, still mixing things but that's all right nice frame there um don't know what this is will be a, a switch of some kind if you can't sell that just scrap it cast aluminium <coughs> also i found this guys i don't know what this is something to do with soldering and there's the attachment there so it's probably just a old soldering tool so if anyone give me any information on that that'd be great and I'd probably sell that on eBay as well also a beautiful old antique um, frame here pretty big you can just see the nice wood there so it's really really old there's a view of all the switches just here guys a nice old retro light so a bit damaged at the back there but that's a beautiful old um, retro light there oh this was probably a score of the day too guys look at this a beautiful the chain's broken but it's easy to fix a beautiful um, like scale all original found that at the local rubbish dump too it's amazing found a heap of these the old shoe polish tins they're not really that old but I'm gonna start collecting these they come in handy to put coins and stuff in when you go metal detecting and another score of the day guys, I reckon I've got about probably 20 kilos of um, copper and brass here, if not more. So I found this in that box there at the end of the um, tarp. And it was just full of copper and brass. So that's an absolute score. It was totally full, that box. And also I found obviously a lot of other copper and brass spread around the area where the person who dumped it just threw it out of the car couple of um, some old Westinghouse circuit breakers unsure if I could sell those I'm sure some of you guys out there would let me know if they're worth anything nice another nice enamel plug don't know what this is for I'm sure you guys will be to let me know if I could sell it I reckon I could it looks pretty old it's only made out of plastic but I reckon that'll sell for sure nice old telephone there but it's a bit damaged on the back so I probably won't sell that I'll probably just throw it away and obviously this box here was full of the brass and copper and I'll use it as a toolbox or something or sell it and also a beautiful old Monarch typewriter so yeah so anyway guys I've been finding quite a lot of good stuff lately got my tarp on the back of the ute and also another thing I'll just quickly show you one of my mates gave me this beautiful old uh, steel wheel steel wheel and axles, an old horse cut wheels with the axle. So that'll definitely sell on eBay, I reckon, for probably definitely well over $200. And that wheel there, probably sell that for about $30. And also, guys, in the probably next week when I get time, I'm going to cut this wood up and sell that. And it's all Jarrah wood and i reckon i'd probably get about i don't know four or five hundred dollars for this i'll sell it as for photo framing and, and also other, guys uh, this thing here can anyone help me identify what this is no it's definitely old something to do with electricity probably a fuse tester or something i wouldn't have a clue it's got some writing there Anyway, and also these nice old retro lights, they'll definitely sell. And also guys, someone from my local town threw away this classic piece of woodwork. So it's a CD holder, I reckon it's probably been made in uh, Indonesia, but that is absolutely awesome. Nice find, that'll definitely sell on eBay. Just go, it's just amazing what people throw out, even though it's junk to them, it's a treasure to me. 
And I also found these at the uh, rubbish dump too, guys. So maybe someone can help me identify what these are. Possibly something to do with um, electricity, power, power lines. I'm not too sure. But I'm sure someone out there will know what they are. Oh, and before I forget, guys, I've been meaning to do this video for ages. I found this beautiful old uh, radio. Um, it's an Astor, an Astor radio and record player. I found that out the local rubbish dump as well, so I threw it out. And it works perfectly. So it's my new radio. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see the speakers on either side. The only problem is is I'm not too sure if this record player works and I think that possibly I don't know if that goes in there or like that I don't know I don't know if that's part of it but yeah it's a beautiful old Astor radio and it works perfectly look at the beautiful old switches and that was an awesome score so that's my new radio so that would have been back in the old days a portable radio like a walkman you just see the handle there where they probably used to carry it when they used to go on their picnics and stuff all right guys and awesome one more thing guys i keep finding stuff what i keep finding out the rubbish dump look at this beautiful rabbit um rabbit fur uh a cobra hat a hat like this you'd be paying well over 200 dollars i reckon between 150 and 250 dollars so this is a beautiful akubra rabbit skin or rabbit fur hat so i threw that out and it fits me perfectly and that's an absolutely score i have got some other akubras i love akubra hats just there there's one missing in the middle so and also that set of horns there the old buffalo horns i found those out the local rubbish dump and just so you guys this is my beautiful old ship, HMAS Canberra. Can't really see it well, but that was the best Royal Australian Navy ship I ever served on. Alright guys, thanks for watching, see ya.